Tom, uh, I'm a bit overdressed. You've got the polo shirt on. We've got the sunshine and what a game of rugby. Yeah, gorgeous day. Great game as well, especially for a Pirates fan. Yeah, I thought the, uh, the first half, uh, Richmond were pretty stubborn, but uh, we got that early try. Of course, Carl Moore, we've got to congratulate Carl as well. Proudly a Pirate, uh, 100 games today. Yeah, it's a great milestone to achieve for the club, and I think uh, with our 100 games, uh, I'll surely give uh, Carl Moore a lot more confidence going forward to... Uh, Play many more games in the shirt. Well, he's done a really good job in the championship. He's been the uh, hardest try scorer yeah. in the championship this season. He scored some great tries for us, and Alex has certainly found his mark as well. Oh, yeah, sure. They've both been uh, some of the most consistent performers, certainly for the Pirates, and I think in the championship as well. Yeah, no doubt about that. Now, we mentioned uh, Richmond were stubborn as they were in the first half, but yeah. that try just before half time that uh, Nico De Batista scored just uh, gave us that edge then, didn't it? Yeah, and I think it took, it took a little bit out of the sails of Richmond, came out in the second half, and Early on, Pirates got a got an early three points, which changed the game. I think. Yeah, mentioning uh, Nico, uh, Matt, uh, a brace today, Matt Evans. Good to see him back in the action, yeah, scoring him, tries Mark. again. And at the end, there, getting stuck in, he did the second try there amongst the fours. He quite yeah. likes that. Yeah. And uh, Nico as well. Look, hat trick, hat trick. What a fantastic achievement. Yeah, great achievement to get a hat trick. Uh, especially as captain as well. I think it would be a bit good if he didn't get man of the match, but you can't have more, can you? Well, you will appreciate, of course, uh, Tom, that it starts up front. So of course, it was yeah. probably a very good choice on that side of things, and well done to Billy for that. Yeah, it was a, the scrum went really well today, and I think Billy was part of that, so uh, sure, hats off to him for that, and man yeah. of the match for Billy. Brilliant. Now, that takes us up, uh, probably, we don't know at this stage, because there's another game going on at this time, but we have a very good chance to go up to fourth, and uh, five championship wins on the trot. That's an incredible achievement for a small squad. Yeah, it's brilliant. And just then I was privy to the huddle after the game for the Pirates and uh, Paige, the coach, just said, you guys deserve your place in the table after the way you've played. And I think boys are on great run of form despite that loss at Ealing. So I think they finished with a couple of wins now to end the season. And Certainly avenge that loss at Ealing in the final game of the season would be great for the boys and finish high. Yeah, they did well at Ealing in the Cup, Ealing a very strong side. Very but, strong. Uh, we mentioned the championship to get those wins. We have a chance, of course, our next home game. We play Bedford next week away and then uh, in three weeks time on Saturday, we welcome Ealing trail finders yeah. to the many field and hopefully it'll be revenge time. But of if course, we play yeah. rugby like we have the past couple of weeks on the on the many field, uh, we have every chance to play well and take on anybody. Absolutely, let's just hope for the weather. Right, right, Tom. Well, many thanks once again, and many thanks, may I say, also to Hedgehog Digital, doing a great job on behalf of the Pirates. It's all greatly appreciated.